You send your kids to a park so they can see trees, not offensive graffiti. So tonight, Nicole Grigg shows what's being done to protect innocent eyes. A day at the park with grandma. Up and back. And this is what she has to deal with. Well, we have to watch certain areas when there's things that she knows how to spell. Graffiti taking over part of Jane Newcomb Park. It's very frustrating because we want to have good family values and be able to utilize our community services. I've lost track of time, probably a couple weeks. The problem now being painted away by people who care, like Jim Cook. I used to walk my dog down here and uh, I saw him working and they invited me to help. Bright colors and happy faces fighting back against graffiti. We have a professional volunteer who's going to code it so anyone who makes any attempts at graffiti, it will just wash off. Police say the murals that started last summer across the city stop graffiti because taggers respect other people's work and this woman is at the center of those efforts. So they're just popping up left and right and the more people getting involved, the more the word's spreading and the more artwork's going to go up and the more Dayton's going to look beautiful as it is since it is the gym city. It's a whole neighborhood that cares and now they're protecting the littlest of eyes. Reporting tonight in Dayton, Nicole Grigg, ABC 22 News. Want to help eradicate this mess? Find a link to the Dayton Graffiti Task Force and the group Spire on our website, abc22now.com.